these players are going to be given the green light. We're going to give somebody this big old brick. Yes. My favorite part will be when I hand them this trophy without telling them how heavy it is. Mm, that's risky. Over the table. Okay. All right. I don't want anyone to get hurt. That Bull bad. Bullet on the play. Death Red Shaman. Isn't that and bad? Uh, he's like he's asking. And I like. I appreciate that. He asked uh, Jonathan if he would like to sacrifice his land. Weirdly, I think he's going to decline. So Michael will play his own fetch land. That seems. It. That seems fair. Smart. Very smart. Uh, so as now. Jonathan was able to overcome in the semifinals against another deck that is more advantaged on the play than it would be on the play, mm -hmm. but made it here to the finals. Though we do see a Liliana, the last hope. Powerful. Turn two. Turn two. Now, does he want to go down? Does he want to go up? We saw him go down a lot. Down, down, down. Looks like Goes he's going up. up. Down is a combo with Death Rage. I'm going to mill some lands. A little well, more okay. acceleration. Now, I was actually going to say because you may want to mill something, but he has the Entomb in his hand. Oh, okay. So, well, never mind. Had it, never lost it. Yeah, I really. The, the thing I like about Michael's deck is, uh, it forces your opponent after game one to decide how they want to try to interact with you. Sure. Are they gonna Are they gonna take care of your death right shaman, your carrying feeder, your kite self freebooter nonsense, or are they gonna attack your your graveyard? It's a washer from tomorrow. One of my favorite cards. It's a good one. So it has hideaway, mm -hmm. which of course, as everyone knows, the word hideaway means it comes into play tapped. Of course. I actually didn't know this creature under the battlefield tap. It does. Should have. Hmm, okay. Okay. Just much like the hideaway lands. Of course. The battlefield tap, hideaway. It mm -hmm. says it right there on the screen, Chetri. Yeah. Reminder text. Yep. When it leaves the battlefield, doesn't, not when it dies. Not when it dies. When it leaves when the battlefield. Which is why we're talking about with blank cards. Yep. yep. Put the exile card into its owner's hand. Very smart. Uh, dies to Liliana the last hope. Worth noting. It does and it will. Yes, most likely. But we're going to get an impulse out of it regardless. There you go. Modern Horizons card. Yep. They should. A lot of those hanging around. Probably too good for standard, actually. Never mind. I think it'd be cool if it were in standard. It's probably too good, though. Today? Or? Mm, yeah. Yeah, seems there's more more of a modern card than a standard card. You know, Oko it. <laughs> yeah, it's like everything That's else. That's the solution, right? Yeah, it's a little too good. Let's slow that down. So we have a. Uh, I saw a Baleful Strix is going to get sent to the bottom, most likely because Jonathan going to be unable to uh, deal with this Liliana. Having some difficulty, I would say. Yes. Yeah. Michael Boland's turn with his Rakdos deck. Plus it, kill it, thank you. And at least get to see what Jonathan picked up, which was a Flooded, flooded Strand. strand. Now, yeah. now we get a better look at it. Let's see the whole thing. All right, Oko. Okay. Uh, I've also got a, is that's a Damnation and a Day of Judgment. A little, little mm. column A, column B there. Yeah, indeed. Time Walk. And uh, what's that last one in the middle? That black card. Uh, that is Duress. Hmm, powerful. Mm -hmm. Okay. No easy choice here for Michael. What are you What are you taking for one second? Because that's about as long as you get it. Just take the Oko. Is that Can't as long play as, it as next I get? Yeah, I'm taking Oko. Yeah. 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 Mm. All right. Time walk it is. Okay. I guess that's fair because you time walk as Explore and then your Wrath. Yeah. So... Yeah. But now you got an Oko. The problem is now how do we how do we beat Oko? Is the question. Because Oko's gonna come down, assuming that Jonathan can search for a green source and we know he has Temple Guard in his deck. He can Oko the Freebooter and get the time walk back. Because that's how Oko works. You know is that. Is that right? how Oko works? Yeah, it happened to me with PTQ last week. Yeah, card doesn't have his text anymore, so you just get it back. What? Yeah. I thought it has still had to leave. Um, unless I was lied to. We're going to find out. We are. We're going to find out very yeah. soon. Well, make a food. It, like, loses all, it loses all of its text. Um, becomes an elk, and so you just get the card It's fine. Back. I'm just going to agree. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, just, I, I, was, I think that's what you kind of have to do. The judge, like, the judge, like, explained it to me about, like, the layering and stuff, and I was like, I believe you. Yeah, I'm just going to say okay. Yeah, I believe you. I'm just going to say okay. Yeah. 
And then I lost. Well, of course you did, yeah. because you <laughs> yeah, didn't have yeah. the Oko. Yeah. But Oko's just making a food, so uh, no harm, no foul. So we're going to head back over to Michael Bolin with an active Liliana. Which Liliana cannot target the future elk. It can only target current elks. Accurate. So, uh... This is how, this is the answer to the question of how, you know what's great too? You know what's really special about all of this that's going on right now? What's that? Uh, <clears throat> well, in two matches. We can here. have a, uh, a Wrath of God or Damnation from Jonathan. Mm -hmm. Getting rid of the two creatures. Then the food can magically turn into a creature and attack with haste. So that is fun. I, lo I love that. That's really great. I love that sound. Not a, nice combination. Uh, Faithless Looting was entombed. It's pretty adorable, he asked me. Mox Ruby. Gristlebrand was the draw. Okay. Okay. All right, let's do a little Faithless Looting. Gristlebrand's going to find its way to the graveyard. I see a Fatal Push. Perhaps with the Mox, I would probably say. Well, that's sad. Yeah, you need that Swamp, though. Because you got a fatal push, so you yeah. can at least push the future elk. But like, got some mocks. Yeah, I like this. No, <laughs> get rid I, of that mox. I like this. We don't just put mocks in the graveyard, you maniac. No way. How much is that card worth? More in Oko. Maybe. I don't know if that's true. It is. Okay. <laughs> All right, it's I more. Sure. I'm sure. Yeah, mo mox ruby's a, a little bit more. It's about a digit more. For now. <laughs> yeah. You be careful. Elevator going up. Six on Liliana. You gonna play a Mox? Well you've got you you've Can faithless not. looting your last looting. Cannot can't not do that. There we go. Okay. Well. Now how's this? Talk to me. Uh here is how you win. Okay, I'm ready. Two turns with Liliana. Pop you, that ultimate oh, off. That's the plan. It's the only plan at yes. this point. Yes. It's plan A, B, and C. That's where we are. I came here to see zombies yeah, that see. were not being made. Oh, I, see, I noticed Field of Dead not in your... Uh, it is not. That's, not a, in that's, your a tough, that's a tough one. Yeah. That's a tough one to, uh, to, to justify. But we do have a way to get Justin Parnell tokens, which is, of course, Liliana, the last hope. Important. It is, indeed. We can't do this cube and not have a zombie show up of yours uh, on the screen. That's what I feel like, too. Jonathan does have the ability to play Day of Judgment this turn, but not... That's a, that's a Savannah, right? That's right. a Savannah. Okay. Savannah not and a Scrub Plains. Man. So he will be casting Day of Judgment if he cast one rather than uh, the Damnation. Wham, bam, nation. If he's going to play any of them at all. Now, this is why I would have just discarded this Mox. What? Why? So you can just keep up mana. Still can. Uh, with that threat, Shaman, I get it. There you go. We got it covered. And and this kind of conceals a little bit. Not that that's necessary. Yeah, sure, for what? what? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying. Not going to see that coming. Look, I'm not putting my mocks in the graveyard. It's not happening. What if, uh... <laughs> what if Jonathan just popped off this dress rude. right here? Oh, that would be rude. Found it. Yeah, that'd be not cool. I think he's going to go with the, uh, the the Day of Judgment, though. I think he's been prompted to make a play by our head judge. Maybe not. Oh, shuffling that duress to the back to the front. Looking pretty interesting. This looks like a duress to me. In case you're wondering, oh, Karaba is officially closed for the evening. Just you. It's all just <laughs> you were wondering that. <laughs> there goes the fatal push. Young Pyromancer left over. I believe we're going to... Now, here's why I would have played that swamp. Why is that? Are you going to push something in response? No, what are you going to do with the Death Rite Shaman? Block. Look like an idiot? Well, yes. Block. You're not blocking. 
I got you a block with a Death Rite Shaman. You don't know me. But my opponent made another food token. Well, of course. We're well, clear. Well, why would they make an elk? They're going to Damnation or Wrath of God or Day of Judgment next turn. That's true. Or another sweeper. Liliana, what's your plan? Aha! Not here for the ultimate. Ooh. It's a big dragon. Okay. Uh, Take this. Thank sure. you very you much. You got red mana. Yeah. You got green mana. Thank goodness you kept that mox. Just kidding. There's a mountain in his hand. Yeah, there you go. We're mana short of the big dragon. Okay, tough guy. Ah, free, free boot you. Yeah, I believe we're going to remain a mana short of that dragon. It's going to be hard to At play. least one. Yeah. It's getting more difficult. By the moment. Now, hear me out. Had, uh, had he discarded Young Pyromancer mm -hmm. and foresaw that he was going to draw Dragonlord Atarka, he could have attacked Oko to five. Cast actually couldn't do that because he's got to tap the. I'm here. I, I want to hear you out. No, <laughs> he no? just put it to no. one, and then you just die to Oko later. Okay. Right. And then you, and then uh, your Dragonlord Atarka becomes a three-three elk. Yes. This just in, Oko. Rather good magic card. Good news. Is we, have a, we have a creature that uh, can now die to the other Wrath It's of God. a rather young Pyromancer. Spry Pyromancer. It's not the old Pyromancer. It's the young one. Brostoff will draw a commanding advantage. As Michael Bolin only has Dragonlord Tarka in hand. It's about to be Dragonlord Elk Tarka. If it hits the battlefield. Oh, we could see Todd. Don't forget about Time Walk. That's just in hand right now. Yep. The sad thing is, is uh, Jonathan is significantly closer to killing Michael than the other way around. Mm -hmm. By uh, several turns. Dragon Lord Atarka or not. Yes. Bong. On an adventure it goes. I like a Time Walk. Good news. I would just attack him. Yeah, good to wouldn't see you, I wouldn't even attack yeah, Why would you attack Lily? All right, fine. I attack people, not planeswalkers. Yeah. All right, time walk, untap, new turn. Let's go. Baleful Strike's powerful. Let me check this graveyard because I have a treasure cruise in hand. Mm -hmm. What is... What is oh. we're, now, we're doing a reverse time walk now. Yeah, okay. What's happening? There we go. And Strixie. It's Strixie. Stricky, 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 Stricky. It looks like a Assassin's Trophy. Powerful. Three mana. Choo, choo. One, two, three. It's a lot of cards. Inspector. Oh. It's all parts of the rainbow all here. Right, every single one. Leaving that one mana up exactly mm -hmm. to draw Thraven Inspector and mm -hmm. cast it with your white Nailed that you it. left open. Nailed it. Make a treasure. A treasure that can become an elk and attack. You're getting out. You're seeing it all. Yeah. You know You know why? Yeah. Because you made the cube. That's true. Yeah. So if you didn't see it all, I'd have some concerns. Mm -hmm. We got treasures and foods and foods and treasures, and Michael Boland is going to have to draw something really good this turn. It's going to need to be a lot more than a land. That's, it's that's, not, that's, that's, it's that's not, not it. it. Okay. Yeah. Back to Brostoff. Ooh. Oh, Gideon, sure. Ooh. This deck can cast everything. It's a do everything strategy. Yep, that's an emblem. Four four elks now. Looking to get you dead. Till the end of time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm here for this beatdown. Tell you what. That's what it is. It's, you are not wrong. I love I love a good beatdown. Okay. What are we what are we killing here? Everything. Dismember! Make a token. To block, Boop. I guess. Ross Merriam token in the house. Go to one. Yeah, go to one. Go to one. Go to one, it's fun. What? There are going to have to be some blocks tendered here, folks. 
I have a feeling. Are there not? Just take 12. Just take 12? Just, I mean, all right, just take 12. Go to one. Draw a wall of them as pass. Michael, draw land. I believe, uh... What is that? An animate dead. To get back a gristle, a gristle elk. A gristle, a gristle, mm, yeah. Gristle, gristle dead. Jonathan Brostoff, bang. Winner over Michael Boland. Four color up a game over Rectos. Made it look easy. He did. He did. Michael's going to need to be a little more aggressive out of the gate next time or reanimate something much quicker. Yes. In my estimation. Oko, I would say, maybe remove it from your cube. A little feedback. We had, we had little, some little discussion. Feedback. We actually had some discussion on that. Yeah? Yeah. Felt like it, uh, considering that it's legal in every magical format. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, some of my testers, I asked them about the most powerful card that was not power, cube power. Okay. Okay. And a number of them said Oko. Now, it was not my selection. It was my number two. What was your number one? Opposition. Now you can't cut that. Yeah. Well, I didn't cut either. Can't cut that. Spoiler alert. Okay. Yep. I would say Oko... Might need to go go. Well, <laughs> I think I need to have a long lunch <laughs> before deciding that. I understand. What are we eating? <laughs> yeah. we go, there's no houses. In, there's no there, Waffle House in Seattle. That's I want you to know true. that. That's true. That's Once probably you know that. why there's decisions are coming from that's no true. Waffle Houses. And we got a. Actually, we don't really have a great breakfast breakfast chain in the Pacific Northwest. Let's see. How do you feel about the IHOP? No. Oh that's boy, a, I no. feel like I I struck a nerve, didn't no, I? No, no. I've I've had food poisoning three times in my life. <laughs> okay. Two from two separate IHOPs. Okay, that's tough. What'd yeah. you order? One was just like waffles. It was like a caramely waffles. I don't you know. You ordered a waffle at the IHOP. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you deserve to get sick. They make <laughs> it's they make pancakes. pancakes. Yeah. Okay. Did they? The company that tried to change to the International House of Burgers. Well, that was a great marketing stunt, actually. Was it? Kudos to them. Yeah. By great, you mean? It's. I spent a non-zero amount of time on the internet trying to figure out what the heck was and going then, on. And then what'd you do? I don't move on with my life. Yeah. Didn't, and didn't, didn't go, go to the IHOP. Did, nah, not really. You know who else didn't go? Probably a lot of people. Yeah, everyone. Okay. Still, you know, not not a bad play. Okay. Second time food poisoning. What did uh, you get the second a, time? Like a burger. Interesting. There's a little correlation here, I think, <laughs> that I could draw from this. You go to the IHOP, you get a stack of pancakes, preferably with nothing in them. Keep Why your, would I go to IHOP for pancakes? Now, I understand. Now, hang on. That, pancakes that's in the a pretty, name. That's a pretty easy question to answer. It's late. I'm a little, little tired, but I can answer that one. I just think there's so many other options for pancakes. Any anywhere, but you are any of them an international house? No, you know why? Was that? Because I'm going to go to Waffle House and get a waffle that's yeah. not going to give me food poisoning, despite the look of the inside of the restaurant. That's part of the ambiance. I agree. Yeah. Look, no, I saw a uh, a Reddit thread a week ago okay. that showed uh, someone. It was like a story about a uh, a customer. The the staff was shorthanded. They went and helped the people behind and helped them make food. And I was like, that's nice. And the first comment was like, I can't believe they did that. That's going to get them shut down. And I was like, that person's never been to a Waffle House. That's true. There's nothing that can get them shut down. It, exactly. That's right. A Waffle House is like, it's like a wet dog came in and just shook <laughs> itself off and then left. That's what the <laughs> Waffle House is like. It's just generally damp, and that's fine. That's not fine. in a bad way. Not a, not a bad way I, at all. You love dogs. I do. Yeah. I'll be there later tonight. I hope I'm there when the dog comes in. Yeah. Covers everything in a little bit of water. That's fine. Here we here we go. Now we're talking swamp. Your turn. Pass the turn. Boland is on a mold of six. It's tough. Death right shaman off the top. He has mm. one. He has one land. This is going to be hard. Mm. You know what I see? What are you seeing? You know what I see in Jonathan's I see, hand? I see a strip mine in Michael's hand. I see a strip mine in Jonathan's hand, too. You do? Yeah. What? It just looks like Vindicate. I don't know if we're going to get there. I think we're going to get there. It's just not going to be this very second. Because I foresee a little strip mine. Boom. Uh-oh. Mm. What is this? That's Monty? Demonic Tutor for a land. Probably. Now, hang on. You see Vindicate, but do you see a black source? On the top of his deck. Mm. Okay. From a flooded strand, he's going to go get that godless shrine. 
You sound very sure of yourself right now. Jeez, oh, Pete's. Well, so far, everything has come up brust off, so no reason for that to stop. Hard to argue. Local, local, another local chain here. Looks like the crew's got some cookout. Now, tread lightly here. Oh, boy. Okay. I've been warned. This is, cookout is, uh, this is the nearest and dearest to my heart. Okay. This is, cookout is from my hometown. Okay. 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 Let's take a moment. I've been eating cookout for my literal entire life. <laughs> it is my favorite fast food. No. Hands down, no, no. it's not close. No, no. Favorite is such a strong thing to say. No, I'm... S okay. You chose your words carefully. Strip mine. Take care of the colonnade. Death right. Thank you. And... Faithless Loon. Faithless Loon. Look at us go. And it resolves. That's going to resolve. The four-color deck, that's going to resolve. Here's what I'd say about cookout. It's cheap. It's food's fine. Uh, Milkshakes, mm. very bad. They don't blend them. They don't blend them. <sighs> Cedric, it's, like, it's like ice cream in a cup. Whose argument are you making? What do you mean? Are you upset that you're getting ice cream in a cup? Well, I prefer my milkshake to be drinkable through a straw, which is impossible. <laughs> Animate dead on a gristle brand. Thank you very much, Justin. That was a very nice faithless looting. I think Phantasmal Image would like to target something else. I, now, I there's, think that, that, there's that swamp. I you're think we about. found the swamp. You think we're going to kill a land? Or you uh, think I, maybe, think, I think we're going to kill maybe, Animate Dead maybe for style points. Maybe a different target. But I think, uh, I think Mr. Boland will be uh, seven cards richer and seven life poorer at the end of that transaction. I think you, I think you may be right. I might go to Waffle House and Cookout tonight. The old one-two punch. <laughs> yeah. They give, you, they give you a spoon, okay? They know. If you don't know, that is on you. Mm -hmm. You are probably someone that goes, you don't get a tray. How dare you? Well, yeah, how dare you? How dare you? I don't get a tray. Look at me. <laughs> of course I get a tray. Food is delicious. It is. Kind of like this Vindicate that's about to be cast. He might just want to clean up all of the mana and uh, exile a land from uh, Michael's graveyard and cast this Day of Judgment. Mm -hmm. uh, which I think upon uh, reflection is the better play. And that's what we see. Boom. Boland's going to activate Gristlebrand go down to 12. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sean, I think that's going to happen. I think you're safe to, to put those cards into the graveyard. No, no counter spells here, you don't think? Yeah, no, I think you not. You sound pretty sure about no, that. No, I've been wrong before today. That's true. But you know what? Me too. Ooh. Right. Very aggressive. Take a look at his first seven. Didn't like what he saw. Yeah. All right. All these things are dead. Now, this... You and your friends are dead! He has a necromancy in his deck. He has it in his hand right now. Can you play that as an instant? You can, but that's not what you want. Is that bad? Because then it will sacrifice it in the turn. A lot of text on necromancy. Yeah. Here. If you do it at sorcery speed, uh, the creature sticks around. It's basically an anime dead. Okay. If you do it at instant speed, you can get the creature back from any graveyard, but it will sacrifice it in a turn. Oh, that art work. They don't make them like they used to. They sure don't. Classic Pete Venter's art. Mm -hmm. The only printing of Necromancy. Very flexible card. Cube classic. Uh, well, I, I have to imagine that the Necromancy is the highest upside play, but Boland does have 14 to 15 cards in his hand, so. There's Young Pyromancer. There is Young Pyromancer. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start this one a little slow. 
I believe we're going to be discarding uh, fatties and lands. I think that's a good idea. Yeah. I'm on board with this strategery. Unus Prowler, that's a that's probably got to go. Well, I think he's putting down the keeps. Okay. Necromancy, okay, that's five keeps. Nope. Dismember's a good keep. Probably going to keep one land at least. Looks like Kolagon's command is a keep. All right. Sylvan Library, Verdant Catacombs, Swamp, Unus Prowler. Arid Mesa. Arid Mesa, Murderous Rider, Gristle Brand. And kite Sail down there. Yep. All right. A bunch of goodies in the bin now. Yep. One land was kept. Okay. A swamp. Well, Knowing that that taiga is completely safe. Good time for a Lava Axe. Is that in the cube? <laughs> it is not. No? no. Uh, and completely safe meaning... Potentially dangerous against that Vindicate, Kitty. but I don't, th I don't think the Vindicate is going to be uh, too much of Michael's concern as he is now facing down the ally of Zendikar himself. Now, if memory serves, Dragonlord Tarka deals damage to Planeswalkers. Indeed it does, mm -hmm. and indeed it will. I think Gideon's going to bite the dust. Do, do, do. Gideon bites the dust. Do, do, do. Song by Queen. It is, yes. Getting Same. Bite the Dust, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like it. I like it. Kill them both. Yep. Two to the token, three to the Gideon. Young Pyromancer finishes it off. Pretty good Vindicate target. Wants this Wall of Omens first, as per usual. Yeah. Gotta draw a card. Fabled passes the draw. Did he not have a land before he did that? He had his Doomblade in his hand. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it was okay. a little risky. Yeah, but sure. He's got the Doomblade. Yeah. We'll pass the turn. Back, back to Michael Bolton. Pass the turn, in he, and he may not do it in case he uh, opts to not attack with his 8-8 Trampling Flying Dragon. Smart. Yep. Instants are meant to be played as instants. That's right. Do not dare play them at sorcery speed. No. No, no, no. Now, we are getting closer to a casting of said Dragonlord Tarka, but we have a very interesting card in Mr. Boland's hand. That's one Pack Rat. Powerful. Cold Guns Grant, he's considering uh, taking out the, uh, the Wall of Omens. And maybe returning a death right shaman. Murder Shrider. Murder Shrider. <laughs> maybe Kite Sail Freebooter. Looks like he's going to get the Rider back, which is uh, versatile. I don't believe it's going to be doing Swift End. I think it's most likely going to be, uh, un uh, unless we see a, a creature exactly this turn, probably going to be played for a 2-3 uh, lifelinker. All right. Well, Fable Passage might get sacrificed here on the end. Set Murderous Rider in hand, among other things here for Michael. Show you that one. A little Swift End slash Murderous Rider. Powerful new card from Throne of Eldraine. An adventure. Yep. What we could be going on. There it is. In turn, Rob still got it cooking back there. While he's enjoying his cookout. He gets it. Yeah, they all, yeah. Confirmed enjoyed. Yeah. Yeah, they all get it. In the past. I didn't have cookout growing up, okay? I had steak and shake. Woof. Yeah, it's tough. Let me tell you something. It's tough. Okay. Uh, down the road, there was a steak and shake I, and a cookout. I lived here for a year. And one of them shut down. Sure did. You know why? Why is that, Justin? Because they suck. Hey, 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 hey. You don't have to be so mean on the broadcast. Okay? Um, well, if you... The you, people at Steak and Shake are very nice. It was easily the worst steak and shake I've ever been to. Was that every steak and shake? No, no, no. Just that one. I'm food, sure. food took a very long time to get ready. Did it? But the Frisco Melt, worth the wait. Treasure Cruise. Three cards. Time Walk among them. No. No, there's blue mana. No, found a blue. Okay. Got a little Thraven Inspector action. Well, Michael's only at five, so there are ways to steal this game. Mm -hmm. well, it's not going to take a lot, uh, though... His hand's very reactive. There's a trophy, there's a Vindicate, there's a Council's Judgment. Mm -hmm. You can remove stuff, but how fast can you do it? Yep. Well, that's I, a start. 
I agree with that decision. And Thraven Inspector. Boop. Yep. Which could get a clue. Thraven Inspector, a notable 1 2 rather than a 1 1. Ready to fight Ross Merriam. Yep. And as usual, Ross would lose. <laughs> it's because uh, we call him Loss Merriam. Ah. You get it. Yeah, no, I get it. You get it. Michael looking at this Chandra in his hand longingly. A little awkward. Yeah. That's a good card. It is a good card. All right, no block now. I think I might have uh, deployed that post-combat after an attack, but, you know, it's like what when Karabas is closed, anything's on the table. Yeah, you know. I was really hoping you wouldn't bring that up. We're going to go back over to Jonathan. Watery Grave, not the best draw. But there is a clue token. Could draw a little something nice. Jonathan's got to figure out what mana he wants to tap for this stuff. Is he going to go straight? Now? Okay, he's going to start here. I don't think he's going to go straight to the time walk. Library, oh boy. Library, huh? Yeah, it's going to take a lot to get online. Yeah. Several turns. Yep. That's like, that didn't happen. I wouldn't even play it. I would, I would play that watery grave. Yeah. You're going to get farther with that one. I don't want to show it. <laughs> I think, looking at Jonathan's Ugh. face, he knows it's uh, yeah. it is a colorless land in his four-color deck. It's tough to watch. Yep. Council Judgment going to take care of the Liliana of the Last Hope for good. And we're going to take a little walk. Trick or treat. Now, Thraven Inspector, I think, is back to being a one-two now, if memory serves. Uh, is that true? I believe it's till your next turn. That's okay. I haven't had it yet. Let's see what comes next. Hiya, Aya, Aya, Blood Artist. Okay, this where is that, out, where I come out, from. Out of the sideboard, out of the sideboard. Okay. Uh, I appreciate him uh, t specifically leaving the Library of Alexandria untapped with one card in his hand. Smart. Yeah. Got to keep him guessing. Might need a colorless mana for something, maybe an Eldrazi spell. If you have a removal spell, Mr. Boland, uh, I believe you are going to be priced into using it on that Blood Artist. It's a good place to start, given yeah. the life total. Entomb now in hand here for Michael. Yeah. Now, uh, Michael has actually, in his deck, assembled one of my favorite like sneaky combinations in cube, mm -hmm. which is uh, Crucible and Strip Mine with Entomb. Now, strip mine is exiled, but I appreciate the thought. Okay, and we see the murder strider deployed as a murder strider, rather just than then, rather than a swift rather end. than a swift end. Just a two three, with life a link. The Here. watcher enters the battlefield tapped, as you've mentioned many a time. Hidden away. Yeah. Don't have to reveal the card. Face down. You don't. There's a brazen borrower. That one might be good. I think it might be. And it looks like that might be what uh, Jonathan got. It's all part of the plan. In. It's a trophy. It. Can't let this happen. Going on the bottom. That's right. Justin's going to do it. You can't play Bitter Blossom. That's not an okay. option. Now, that goes on the bottom. Yep. After we shuffle for the land, which yep. is a trigger. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I believe he has Bitter Blossom and Dreadhorde Invasion in his hand. Oh, those aren't castable. Those are not castable. Or you could, think about it this way, <laughs> play them both. Really turn up the heat. You really could. Yeah. Well, he is considering it. Oh, but Chandra we, found, we, we found, found a second. We line. found a red source. Finally. Found a second red. Okay. Kill the blood artist. Ting you. Yep. Four. So how do we get this card out from the watcher? The watcher has to die. That's the only way you get it back. Leave yeah. the battlefield. Leave the battlefield. Excuse me. Yeah. It's not like attacking with three creatures. Which is notable because there is a restoration angel lurking in Jonathan's deck. Ooh. Not be a good time to draw that. Damn. Damnation. How about a damnation? Okay. I don't think it's the best battlefield to clear up right now, no. but... 
If you want that card. Oh, I see. We're going to try to kill Chandra. Yeah. And then we get our Brazen Borrower. Okay. Yeah. Dismember which one? The Thraben Inspector and then trade. Yep. Full price for that dismember. Mm -hmm. Can't afford anything else. We're going to make another Ross. Good choice. And we're going to block one. All right. Brazen Borrower, I believe, going to the hand. Sneaky, sneaky. Let's see. Is it a Brazen Borrower? It is, is not. not. What is it? Sure, Cube, you tell me. <laughs> I actually don't know what that is. A Fium answer. Make a little snake. All right, so let's check out this hand again. This, this is becoming a bit comical. Well, we're gonna need to uh, we're gonna need to go up with that Chandra. That's a good place to start. Try to find something good. Two red mana. No. <laughs> what? Skill Ooh. skill clamp. You have located it. Well, well, well. You think that one's gonna get cast or? Well, honestly, I must say something here, Justin. That that library's getting a little low. You've noticed. That library's getting low. No, I don't see the biggest of libraries here, my friend. Gristlebrand drew fourteen. It did. Uh, a lot of cards in the graveyard. A yep. couple of uncastables around these parts. Mm -hmm. Most of them. Jonathan sitting at a healthy 16 with a damnation in hand. Could it come down to decking to end our cube draft? Do you have any, uh, do you have any decking rules in cube, sir? Just ma regular magic. Okay. Just regular magic. Oh, we, we do know that the Murderous Rider is on the bottom of the library. True. Very true. This is bold. Fortune favors De the bold. Why, will it? De we deployed a, we've deployed a bitter blossom. Uh, well, this is a play that someone makes uh, directly before they lose the finals of a tournament. Well, when it is the only play you have left. I like the hand here, Wrath of God and Damnation. Well, yep, there you go. Look at we're just oh oh we're just playing face up now. Well, let's keep it casual. Yeah, he's saying we're uh, all having fun. We can just do it at the Waffle House. Call it a night. I'm gonna let you lose one. Okay. Then I'm going to Wrath. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to let you lose one. And then I'm going to wrath. wrath. Then I'm going to say go. In Tomb? Why not? We're getting loose. Make, fast and loose. Make a people. There are five cards, and they are all hor. That is a horrible deck. There's a Mox. There's a Murder Strider, and I think lands. It's awful. You need that Murder Strider. You got two shots at it. You got two shots. What's doing? What's what's getting murderous rider do? Uh, it's a it's a two three okay. that uh, that forces your opponent to cast damnation. Okay. Yeah. 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 And then it goes to the yeah. bottom. Yeah. 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 And then you do it again. Uh huh. Now he did draw it. Well, so Michael's at two. So yeah. the whole kill you with bitter blossom plan is still online. It's always going to be online. That's okay. how it will end. But I'm just, I'm still trying to figure out what murderous rider does. Uh, it 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 uh let, keeps us here for five more minutes. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, what's five more minutes with my good friend That's Justin? true. Huh? Huh? Going upstairs for mana. Cook out aficionado? Yeah, I would definitely, definitely say so. Waffle House stakeholder, Justin Parnell. Uh-oh, he's at one. Oh, got, was that a collective brutality? Was it? Now, that would be interesting. <laughs> Six more minutes. <laughs> ah, yes. Yes. I will kill this. I will to you. Young Pyromancer token. I believe it's time to get on in there. Think, yeah, yep. Little block with a little snake. Okay. Might be time for one of these wraths, I think. Now... Uh, Can't even plus Chandra. Which there's is, uh oh. I'd wrath first before casting the Strix personally. Three. Use the green. Four, yeah. Yep. Four. Wrath of God. And bang. The OG. Blow up all your things. Next up, Strixie. Draw a card. Big trouble. This baleful Strix says. Mm-hmm. Pass it. You're at two. I think you have two cards left in your deck, Michael Bolin. Go out. This is the way to go. If ever there was a way. You have an overgrown tomb. Mm-hmm. 
plus for red. Murderous rider. Didn't even use it. Didn't even use it. Yep. Just red floating. Mana burn. Mana burn in this cube? <laughs> There's no, not, no just, mana burn. Just no, regular just normal magic. Rules? Okay, just checking. <laughs> see, we got now another land. Okay, so there's two two cards left in Michael's deck. Uh, will be three. Yeah. Once Murderous Rider hits the bin. Yeah. Do we do we damnation now? I think we do. Uh, I think you have to. Yeah, I think we damnation now. How did we get here? Michael's deck, I believe, is Mox and a land. And a, yeah, and a Murder Shrider soon to be on the bottom. Mm -hmm. if, yeah. a if a Damnation is cast. Play a land. Go ahead. You know you want to. We're at the three-minute mark since the comment. You've been keeping track? Yeah. No. Nice. We put a clock up there. I think it's for this purpose. Never seen it. These matches timed? No, no damnation. No damnation. Okay. Time T to get in there. I'll, I'll take the over on five minutes there, bud. Plus two life points. Mm hmm Kill your bill for Strix. Post combat. That's right. I like it. What do we got here? From the graveyard. Oh, Crucible. Sure. Draw. Restoration Angel. That's okay. good. Yeah, here's a here's a damnation. Okay. Wham bam nation. Double the size of Michael's library. Yep, it's up to two cards now. Michael's gonna go to two. Draw a land. Any idea what that last card is? Mm. Any guesses? It's tough. I know it's it tough. is. It's late. It's yeah. what it is. Ooh. Are we seeing it? Nope. It's Just red more mana. more mana. Oh, yeah, there's fetch. Get ah, the yes, the fetch land. Let's get that out there. Big draw here. Oh, yeah, the target. Oh, that's it. We have a champion. We have